Three, two, one. Oh my god! That's no. sick! It's no surprise that here at TMS Productions, we love our drones. And recently we got into FPV drones, the ones that you build, you can do backflips, dive down cliffs. Along that journey, I realized that drones are very simple. They have four motors, a main motherboard, a camera a receiver, and a video transmitter. There's nothing magical inside these little guys that makes them fly. It's all pretty simple stuff. And with that, I kind of realized that you can turn anything into an FPV drone. And that is what we're doing today. We're gonna be thinking a little outside of the box and turning a cardboard box into an FPV drone. All jokes aside, this is an idea that I've had for quite a while. And for FPV enthusiasts out there, you probably know that I'm just gonna be using this as the frame and using all the components of a drone to attach and make this thing fly. Also, this is totally proof of concept. I have no idea if this thing's even gonna fly, so please, Spare me in the comments. I don't need to hear all the things I'm doing wrong because this is just an experiment. But first things first, I think I just have to build this thing. It's, I have all the pieces in here. In this bag, I have the motors, I have the ESC. I just now need to figure out a way to attach it to this box. So let's get to work. Okay, so I have officially mounted all the motors onto the box. Now, I can tell that this is not gonna be the most aerodynamic just because a good chunk of it is right over top of the box. You're not gonna get as much lift as you thought you would, but I'm just gonna try it, see what it's like. It's pretty stable. I'd have to say that like they're pretty rigid. I don't think they're gonna fall apart in front of my eyes. Next step for me is to feed all this stuff inside the box and then kind of attach it somewhere inside and then it's not that much more till we can uh, see if she flies. So, all the pieces have been assembled into the box. I think it looks really cool. So, we have all these propellers here, and then if you go inside, this is where the magic happens. So we got the flight controller here. We're gonna connect the battery shortly here. And then we have the VTX receiver and the camera sticking out here. So theoretically, it should be able to just fly along like this and it's a flying box. And we have like the little antenna sticking out the back. But I think we're ready to power it on for the first time. It's a little nerve wracking because I don't know if this thing is just gonna explode. Three, two, one. I think uh, things are ready. Let's see if we can see something. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> My God. FPV box. Okay, perfect. I think we're ready to almost for our first maiden flight. This is the first test to see if we can get it to arm. Motors arm. Motors arm. Motors arm. Nothing quite yet. Well, this is it. It is three days later now. Um, I have had an absolute hell of a time trying to put this thing together. To say it's an ordeal is an understatement because this has been the biggest pain in the ass. Worse than even building the drone the first time and building other drones and like, holy crap. Anyways, so the reason this has been taking absolutely forever. It's because this isn't a normal frame. I've been frying a lot of my pieces. So I went through two flight controllers. I almost fried a VTX and this is all for a stupid cardboard box. But I've actually resorted to taking apart my real FPV drone to get this thing to work. Everything's wired up. It should 
finally be in place. I'm now going to plug it in for the first time and see if anything spontaneously combusts or not. And then I'm going to try to arm the motors and we're going to see what happens. A little unorthodox here, but we should be fine. Three, two, one. Frick! <laughs> yeah! yeah! <laughs> this is awesome! I think the next step is to throw some propellers onto it and take it for its maiden flight. Holy crap, let's do this. We have come to the local park to take this thing for its first maiden flight. I am very skeptical if anything will happen. I just wanna see it hover in the air. We're gonna go out to the middle of the grass so we have as much room as possible. There is nobody else here and we're not gonna be doing anything too crazy. But I'm excited to see this thing uh, potentially fly. Really gotta seal it in here like a true cardboard box. Okay. Oh my god. That thing is sick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. So first things first, I'm just gonna, everyone has to take like 25 steps back because I don't know what's about to happen. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, that's, that's loud. So no lift. Um, Interesting. Very interesting. Let's go figure out what happened. I think the props are on backwards. That's probably why it's not taking off, which would make total sense. So we are ready for round two this time. I flipped the propellers around so they should be the right direction. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my god! No! Sick! <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> that thing is so like, it looks like a levitating box! <laughs> Frick! That's awesome! So now that I know it actually flies and it'll hover, I'm gonna throw the goggles on and see if I can take it for a little bit of a fly. A proper flight. Here we go. No! <laughs> There's honestly no way! <laughs> it looks like a hovering box! Look at that! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shoot! <laughs> I, it kept t going, like taking off. I couldn't bring it back down for some reason. Our little box. Well, <laughs> it's probably just fine, actually. So you may have noticed that I crashed there. That was totally on purpose, because as I was coming out from underneath the tree, I was trying to throttle down, but it kept going up into the sky, and so I just cut it just to be safe. Now with the crash, a few things got dislodged, but nothing broke, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna kind of reposition everything that's inside the box, and then I'm gonna see you guys at a safer location where we can do some real flying. The moment has arrived for our first real FPV drone flight. I've reassembled the drone, got all the pieces back together, and we have come out to our new location, which is pretty deserted. There's nobody for quite a ways, so we are free to let this thing fly and see how far we can take it. We've added a new piece of artwork to this thing, a logo, so you know exactly where it came from, so when it's out for delivery, you know who sent it. <laughs> for this flight, I have a few things on my agenda, a few checklist items. First things first, I wanna try putting a GoPro on it, some probably like right there, right in the front. Um, I don't know if it'll even take off, it'll be too much weight, but we'll see. Next thing is I want to try doing a backflip, see if I can do some sort of acrobatics with this thing. Finally, I want to try doing a tree dive, something where I'm falling towards the earth and have to save it at the last moment, what you'd use a normal FPV drone for. First things first, I think we have to try getting the GoPro on here and see if it will fly. We have installed the GoPro onto the front of the box with just some packing tape. It's not my finest work at all, but I think it'll do the job. My only concern is that it's like too heavy for this drone, so it won't be able to pick it off the ground, but there's only one way to find out, which is to try it. 
This is the first flight of the GoPro strapped to the box, FPV drone box thing. Let's go. It's probably not gonna work. <laughs> it's a little too heavy. The thing barely gets off the ground at like full throttle. So we might just have to do everything else without the GoPro on. So unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. Obviously the GoPro flight didn't go as well as I thought it would, but we're just gonna move on, take off another item on the checklist of things I wanna do with the FPV drone box. And that is doing a backflip. This might just break our drone. Three, two, one, backflip. Oh, it worked! I'm trying to go down. I'm not even throttling up. And the thing is, on to have is a mind of its own. I'm not doing anything. It's possessed. No, it's not, like it won't hit anybody, but I'm just gonna wait for it to go come down. Oh, it come down fast. Glad oh. cut. <laughs> that was a little dicey. <laughs> I think it was probably the wind acting on the box as like a giant wind sock. The thing is like a barn door in the sky. <laughs> um, so it kept catching the wind and then probably pushing it and the drone was counteracting it. So it would cause it to like fly up in weird spots. The backflip worked really well. Like I was very surprised. I thought it was gonna go up, do a backflip and then just start tumbling down. It's an amazing freestyle frame. <laughs> <laughs> the final thing we're gonna do now with this box is a tree dive. This is the most daring thing I wanna do with it and hopefully I don't crash it straight into the ground. The wind just picked up. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I can do the tree dive. This is crazy. Ah! Ah! Oh, no, I'm just gonna cut it. No, no, oh, 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 it's just tumbling. Everything just went black. Shoot! No. Ah. Uh, what's the prognosis here? Oh, I need a knife. Scalpel, <laughs> scalpel, quickly! Come on! <laughs> ow, ow, I was <laughs> down there. <laughs> That was probably not good. What? <laughs> the battery came off. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this might be the end of the road for our trusty box here. I don't feel confident and I don't feel safe taking it for another flight and diving it down a tree because I don't even know if I can get it to the tree. When I was flying it around, I was trying to bring it down. The throttle was all the way down. The thing was like literally, I couldn't push it down any anymore if I wanted to. And the thing was like taking off and like going in weird directions. I think it's because of the wind and it like kind of tries to push it and then it tries to counteract it so it lifts up and since this isn't a normal frame it doesn't really know how to act. As I was flying it and I landed it went totally black and I think that's because the main cable here disconnected from the main motherboard causing everything to just shut down and then it just tumbled down the hill but it survived this frame or box I should say is actually like really strong. I think this is it for our box FPV drone. Okay well, that was an experience to say the least. Um, I just want to go over a few things that I learned along the way of building this thing. Number one, don't do this. This is a really, really bad idea. It flies terribly. I don't know if we made it clear enough in the video, but just stay away from turning a box into a drone by a frame at least. Number two, I'd like to say that I'm shocked that it got off the ground just because with the lift, like a quarter of your lift is blocked by the box. So I didn't think that there would be enough propeller surface area to lift this thing up, but it did. And I'm genuinely quite shocked. 
And number three is just how strong and rigid this box actually is. I thought during its first flight it was going to take off, twist up, and just fall out of the sky. This thing lasted through three or four crashes and even tumbling down a hill, it's still able to keep going. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting experiment. If there's anything else you guys want to see turned into an FPV drone, leave it in the comments down below because we'd love to try this again and see if we can get something else into the skies. If you guys are new here, go follow us on Instagram at tmsproductions underscore. Also go down, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe. It really helps us out and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, that's not gonna <laughs> I can't close that again. <laughs> <laughs>